Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Nordic Tongues. Alan is from Hamsta Sweden. How are you all? I think you all are good. So today I am gonna shoot with some special people uh, who are like studying with me and then uh, in the Hamsta University and they are from the same subject. And uh, the thing I am gonna do that uh, I am discussing about uh, about the study and how it looked like all the process in Sweden and how they perform these years and uh, of course the speciality of this uh, video is that that they will share their experience and uh, how they spend all the time here and what the difficulties they face here okay so first i'll introduce shankarshan hi <laughs> <laughs> so I, I am in my second year now and uh, i'm studying imi industrial innovation and management yeah and, uh, so shankarshan is uh, uh, is the the guy who is like uh, studying start with me and also Siddharth Chakravati is here Hi. both are from India yes. and uh, my friend and uh, we studied together and uh, we spent a lot of time with the projects and other thesis so first question to Shankarshan that uh, how you feel in Sweden? Yeah, good, very cold <laughs> <laughs> it is cool yeah uh, yeah for studying here it's, uh, it's a good opportunity mm -hmm. uh, why you came in Sweden? Uh, well it's uh, relatively lower, uh, less expensive than mm -hmm. US or any other like uh, first world countries. Okay. But is I there any specific reason to come here in Sweden? Or yeah, I actually wanted to go to Germany okay. and US for my uh, masters. Yeah. But uh, I somehow ended up because I got like a placement here. Okay. First. Okay. Yeah. Uh, lots of the audience are questioning me that uh, which country will be good, like US or Germany or Sweden. So what uh, should be my answer? Well, uh, I could say for sure that Sweden is good for studying. Yeah. I, I don't know about US or Germany because yeah. I, I, I could not get an opportunity okay. to go there. Yeah. If uh, anyone has the opportunity, like both in US and Sweden parallelly, yes. what they will, they're going to do, like what they will take US or Sweden, according to your perspective, what do you say? Uh, I would say Sweden is good. Okay, mm. yeah, so better Sweden. The same question is to Siddharth Chakravati, who is like studying with me, and uh, we did lots of project and thesis together. Uh, now uh, he's uh, uh, also uh, doing his thesis in uh, Hamsa University. So I will put, uh, put the same questions to Siddharth. How is Sweden and why you choose Sweden then? Well, for starters, Sweden was not an accident for me. I chose Sweden specifically. I didn't want to go anywhere like my sister lives in Australia, my other sister lives in UK, my so many cousins live in USA and uh, whatever like Canada everything but uh, I chose Sweden specifically for my specific requirements uh, I wanted to come here with my wife I wanted to uh, seek opportunities as an engineer I'm a mechanical engineer myself, bachelor's from India, work as an engineer and uh, I think uh, as far as my knowledge goes, if you want to make something in technical field, uh, there's no better place than Europe. Now, Europe is a very big area, you know, you have like 26 countries now. But uh, I chose specifically Sweden because uh, it's the only European country that teaches uh, majorly in English. And also, most people speak and understand English very, very well. Like as in Indians or any Asian person does. Yes. So that's a very big plus because if you are planning to live in any like, like let's say Germany or Spain, the biggest problem is the language. You cannot talk with people, you cannot like communicate much. So that's a very uh, important factor here. If you want to get job, that also plays a role. To so. Just to interrupt you that uh, if we, uh, there are lots of questions that I got from you that uh, you were like uh, doing me lots of questions that why Sweden, why you, are, you want to come Sweden or why you don't want to come Sweden if you have the parallel connection with US, Canada, Australia then there are lots of reason to go some other countries according to your objectives or goal of course but for Sweden I'm not promoting Sweden but here are some students who like Sweden very much I don't know why because for me I have like two, two companies with the Sweden Swedish companies working with but that's the reason to choose with but for them there are no specific reasons like Siddharth Sid, he is choosing not by accident Sweden but he likes Sweden that's why so move to the another question yeah. Shankarshan 
that uh, how you feel about the, our Hamza University education or something? Well, uh, it was uh, it's nice, uh, but like not as up to the mark as I expected. It okay. To be. Yeah. Uh, the, the good thing here is uh, that they we we are allowed to study in groups. Yeah. And uh, the the people who are with a good group will yeah. study well. Yeah. But uh, others will have to learn how to work alone yeah. if the group doesn't cooperate. Okay. And that's a good thing because later in life everybody like needs to work with the group, Definitely. understand the requirements, Definitely. understand the challenges. Totally agree. So, so that kind of education was something uh, different that I, I got here. Mm -hmm. It was not uh, in India. In India we, we, we study alone, we work alone, we, uh, we yeah. write the exam alone. Yeah. So, yeah, it's something uh, that we got to study together, make yeah. new friends, and yeah. it it really helped. Yeah. yeah. But what is the negative point of Hamza University? If you want to say, like you don't like or something, or maybe in Hamza. Uh, <laughs> the job or? Yeah, uh, yeah. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> Jobs. <laughs> yeah. Very difficult. I have heard it's very difficult mm -hmm. to find a job here, and uh, you might find part-time jobs which are easy yeah. it tends to be uh, people tend to take these part-time jobs and are like stuck with such, yeah. such, such jobs such like, job. like forever yeah and, and then they cannot show their they talents. cannot move uh, or learn a lot yeah so that's what i i, I know yeah. yeah so finding a professional job is is kind of difficult here yeah yeah i agree yeah uh, the same question I, I will not ask you the same question but uh, of course the uh, the Hamza University, education, everything, Shankarshan has told everything, but apart from this, what is the difficulties you face in Hamza? Not Hamza University, but in Hamza. Or if audience wants to know that which provision or which county they have to select, like Gothenburg, Malmo, or Lund, or Stockholm, or Hamza. So, what do you say? Uh, the, the biggest difficulty here is the root cause is the language problem. Mm -hmm. Uh, as I said, everyone speaks and everyone understands English, but uh, every kind of official communication is in Swedish. If you apply for a job, it's Swedish. They, they will ask you for Swedish. Even if you don't have to talk to anyone on the job, they will say you need to learn Swedish. If you can get past this language barrier, things are not so hard here. Yeah. The other hard part is finding a house, finding a accommodation. It's really, really hard uh, and uh, if you can find one, just take it. It's it's uh, much better. Yeah, uh, like uh, it's we know how how it is here. We have been living here like almost two years now. Yeah, and uh, now we feel that yeah. It, uh, now we it's like after two years we have places of our own. But otherwise we had to like share places and we had to take second hand contracts. So the hardest part was the accommodation and because of the language, it's the job finding part. If you like want to support your expenses or something then uh, you need to get a job and then it's because of the language you cannot find the job that's the hardest part and uh, for the county I would like to suggest that uh, in Sweden it doesn't matter so much uh, I prefer it's my own preference to come to a small city because it's like less cumbersome it's less you know populated so here everything is close by and it's a beach city it's sunny city just the summers are so beautiful it's just amazing yeah. you have never seen a summer like this yeah, no. they call it the summer city as Hamstad. Yeah. Yeah. if you go to Gothenburg if you go to Malmo it's not a problem you can you can go there it's also very good places so there's no like specific choices yeah. for this yeah yeah I will move forward to another important question that is very very important everyone like I got like uh, 500 questions like this that expense what do you think should uh, the students from India Pakistan Bangladesh or some Middle East countries who are like from this nationalities from our region, Indian subcontinent or someone, those who have like less money support, yeah. those who wants to come here, should they do that or like should they come with a scholarship or what? What yeah. money support they need? First question. They, they definitely need to apply for a scholarship before they come here or they'll just end up paying like a 20 lakhs Indian rupees. Yes. Yeah. It's, and it's a lot. Yeah. So what do you, uh, apart from uh, Shankar, if I, if I ask you that uh, according to your experience, if anyone doesn't have the money backup or something, 
What do you think? They have to come, they should come here or they can choose some another thing or what? Like they, all of the audience ask me that uh, uh, if I don't have money back up, if I have like six month money back up, I will come here and then I will income, I will do a job and then I will, uh, I will have all my expense like uh, living expense and everything. Is it possible practically? What do you think? When you select Sweden, it is already on the international general expense scale for, ex uh, for education, foreign education. Sweden is on the cheaper side. Uh, if you go to Australia, USA, it's going to be expensive, more expensive than uh, Sweden. Uh, second, if you think that you can come here and find a job and everything, and you can make like a living in like six months, you can have all the expense. You can you you just take a backup of six months from home and you come here and then you start earning and then you. Trust me, it doesn't work like that. It's uh, always you cannot be sure about this. Always take these thoughts with a pinch of salt. Always, it's not reliable. Yeah, because uh, I try to make them understand that it's not possible. Take time, of course, you need to learn Swedish language and then you have to apply for the job and then there are particular some other things yes. also apart from ability, apart from educational skill to get the job because the culture is different and everything is different. But they don't understand, they are like asking me, oh, if I come here, can I settle here? How difficult it is, Shankar first, how difficult it is to settle here? Very difficult. First of all, you have to learn the language, as he said, and learning the language, it's, it's not easy. It's, it's very difficult. Yes. I have been here like for one and a half yeah. years, and I am still like, what is your name? I can speak that much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so the point is, learning the language is not as easy as you think it is, or it's not as easy as English. It's totally different. You have pronunciation such as krutton and krutton and krutton so <laughs> yeah it is <laughs> it's, it's very hard and yeah. secondly uh, getting a work permit here it's it's like a hell of a job yeah. uh, you need to work even if you work part time and you are like confident that you will be getting a work permit yeah. it's obvious that it's it's by chance that you might you might get it or you might not, so there's no guarantee. No, no. And it's kind of lottery or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of. If I go to Sid, Sid, what do you say? What do you tell about apart from these job difficulties? Yeah. What other things that they need to prepare for, like before coming to Sweden? You have to prepare for the cold. You have to prepare for the depression that comes. You, you are talking about the temperature. Yes. Cold means. Yes, the cold is the temperature. Uh, just. <laughs> Describe it, how much cold it is. Yeah, it gets like really cold. Like, <laughs> if you can imagine cold, then multiply by that five, and then it's really cold. Oh yeah. my God. That's really cold, like it's, it snows many times. Uh, even if you have a car, and it's like manual lock, the, the lock cylinder that jams. The key, you have to warm the key, then put it inside, and then maybe the ice melts, yeah. and then your car opens, or yes. you know. So that's, that's one of the hard things here. Uh, yeah. The cold is really challenging for uh, if you are from Asia or something because yeah. there we, are, we are not uh, used to uh, for cold climates. Yeah. That's one yeah. of the physical And the second things. Is, yeah. The second is you have to get used to the bike thing, the bicycling. In, uh, as far as I know, Asian people are not so much into cycling, you know, especially if you can afford to come to Sweden, yeah. you generally have your own vehicle at your home. So yeah. you have to get used to that also, like the physical strength also counts here because uh, your driver's license is only valid for one year and getting a car is really, really expensive. If you think that get a car, trust me, I got a car and that was one of the biggest mistakes I made in Sweden. <laughs> I had paid like a lot of money just because I have a car. Yeah, that's Just true. because I, I didn't even use it. No. I just, just had the car, that's yeah. why I had to pay so much money yeah. and that's uh, really hard, uh, the yeah. expensive part over here. And the third point, if you have anything left. Yeah, uh, the third point is uh, of course getting a job is really hard here yeah. and uh, uh, one very uh, important thing is generally, see if in, in Asian culture, see I'm from India, uh, he's from Bangladesh, he says it's the same in Bangladesh. Uh, yeah. My one friend is from Turkey, he says it's the same in Turkey, but yes. here in Europe things change. Yeah. For example, uh, in, when I'm in my country, I can depend on my people for helping me out and for everything. Here, even if you have your like blood brother, there are full chances that you cannot get any help from him whatsoever. That's really hard. The lifestyle of Europe is really, really different. The culture of Europe is really different. 
it's I have seen uh, it's more of an individualistic lifestyle rather than you know groupism you cannot uh, rely on your it, it's not your friends are not your friends it's not like that it's just the conditions they cannot help you yeah. you have to be on your own even if you think that I have a very good friend and I'll go there and maybe he can help me for something yeah, yeah, yeah. he cannot no. help you for no. it a lot of work. things yeah, it uh, like that. if I if I flew on another question uh, last but not least of mm -hmm. course um, some people ask me that uh, if they are coming here and then they complete their study yeah. after that how possibility like percentage in the po of the possibility to settle here rather than Canada or Australia because, because as far as I know that your sister is in yeah, Australia yeah. and they are like in the permanent residence yeah, yeah. so you can you can tell me better but first I will go to Shankar yeah, yeah. I don't know about Canada but if you uh, complete your course, yeah. then you will have the complete 120 credits Yes. or 60 credits if yeah. it's a one year course. So if you have that, then you have a prior advantage uh, while you can apply for companies and companies can give you first priority because your course is already complete yeah. and they trust you. Yeah. But if you have like, if you have some credits to be taken or if you promise the company that you're going to get this credits in time, your priority will not be as no. as that level as it, it used to be when yeah. you have completed the course. Yeah, that's so true. Completing the course is should be your primary objective. But it is, uh, yeah. is it is it uh, easy like uh, after completing the study to get a job or it's near to impossible or what according to your experience? Well, uh, I would rate it a three out of five. See? So it's not four, it's not two. <laughs> no, it's the, it's the average. It's so some average. people some people get some people Some people like him, they <laughs> lucky people. <laughs> yeah, but some people other also they will get job of course. I can assure that. Like these two people, they will get very, very amazing job here. That I can assure you. Yeah. See it. You are like completing mechanical engineering first and then you are doing automobile engineering. Yeah. Then you are come you came here for industrial management and innovation as a master's program. So after completing your study or as previously, when you see that some people completed their study, what is your opinion that they will get job or something? Uh, if you if you have work experience, prior work experience in your field <coughs> and uh, especially if you're from IT. There are pretty good chances that you get a good job over here. But the hard part is you have to first focus on the studies. It's not like uh, you get a job and you have to, you can just leave studies and everything. It's, it doesn't work like that. You have to focus on studies also. Once you're finished with them, then you can apply for jobs. I get many calls for jobs. Uh, uh, unluckily, I haven't got anyone uh, yet. But I get, like, uh, when I apply for, at least I get the opportunity to present myself. That's also one of the, like, but just because I have some experience and uh, I'm from, I have experience in my own field. I'm an automotive plus mechanical engineer, as I said. So uh, here, getting a job is not so hard if you are like really into your thing. But if you are uh, not, uh, like, uh, you have to be genuine to yourself. Like it's, uh, it's not going to be like uh, you can find job in one country and the other country cannot give you job. It's, it doesn't work like that. If you are ha having a very good job in your country. I'm pretty sure you can settle here easily. Yeah. If you talk about the comparison between like Canada, UK or Australia or USA, trust me, UK and Australia never will give you uh, citizenship. And uh, Canada is, I don't know, it's it's easier, I think. But uh, almost like Sweden it is. Yeah. But uh, because of the English speaking, yeah. maybe you know English really better. So then maybe you have good chances over there. Yeah. But uh, Canada also, then there's no industries in Canada. Not much like they mainly on mining and uh, wood wood industries yes, like yes. timber and those yeah, stuff yeah. it is not like engineering hub of the world so no. if you're looking for technical companies like even small scale industries yeah. not many over there no. so that's one of the thing and also on the australia side now australia if, if you talk about the comparison between like sweden and uh, australia and canada and uk and uh, other countries i i think it's uh, canada and sweden pretty much match up equally like if you want to settle like if you want to get a permanent residency or if you want to get a job or something but uh, for australia usa uk uh, strictly I, I won't suggest anyone to go there because it's uh, the people who have been to australia like 10 years ago they are now settled there but that was the last batch now they have stopped because there are so many people coming in from other countries 
and then they are yeah uh, it's, it becomes hard for their own system to manage that's why they're like deliberately they want to stop people from coming in and settling down in their country yeah yeah so. yeah so uh, I think that's all for today because uh, I got lots of Instagram message Facebook messages every people calling me try to talk with me but uh, it's not possible to get me because I'm very busy and these guys are always also very busy today is Saturday night and we are just hanging over and then we are just trying to get and I, I take the opportunity that okay make a video for uh, with the, the questions all of, all of the questions and then they said okay we, we, we are gonna help you so that's why they're here and uh, I want to thank yeah. you everyone like Sid uh, he's a multi genius in automobile industry Shankar very good singer very good student and uh, you know maybe he was in the international student uh, conference last time in yeah. the Hampshire University yes. so maybe you uh, saw him in the in there so it was great great time and we are having a great time I think you will be as well when you will be in Sweden I think you uh, you, you, will, you will be benefit with this uh, question and answer so I want to thank you all and uh, tomorrow is Sunday and uh, if like you have vacation or anything just enjoy that and uh, prepare for that in 4th of April there is a result admission result and then you have to wait for that nothing to, to be done now and then after that you will just proceed for the visa and everything so I will uh, come another episode with uh, with some other questions in no returns so stay tuned with no returns with Alan from Amsterdam Sweden and then we will come back again Assalamualaikum Allah Hafiz Good night